in this tutorial i'm going to show you four options uh, folded paper infographic chart and this is how it looks you can see here i have just added a cutout here and when i click the first option appears from the cutout and it gives you a percentage how much percentage and you can see here that folded paper design i have added here and then when i click it will come the second option with percentage third option and fourth option and you can just change the text according to your requirement so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and insert a rectangle to insert a rectangle go to insert tab shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to give some light color to it and I'm going to add one more rectangle. I'm just adding one more rectangle, which will go here. And I'm just going to give some different color and shape outline, no outline. And let me just zoom it so that we know exactly are we getting the folded paper design or not. I'm going to cut this shape uh, from this part. So what I'm going to do is I'll just increase the size a little bit. And I'm going to increase the size of this also. And a little bit so that the more the bigger one, it will be easy for us to design and then we can uh, make it uh, small or big according to the requirement. So first of all, I'm just going to cut this uh, from the bottom. So go to insert shapes and i'm going to select an oval shape and i'm just going to draw oval shape something like this and i'm going to cut this part so let me just go to format shape fill and remove give some transparency so i know that how much i'm going to cut it so i'm just going to cut it maybe something like this so i'm just going to select this shape the rectangle and the oval shape by holding the shift key and go to merge shape and just say subtract you got this shape and then right mouse click edit point and i'm going to increase it from the top something here some curved i'm giving and yeah so i got this shape then i'm just going to place it here let me just change this color so that it will be easy for me to do it and this one also i'm just going to reduce the color okay i'm going to add one more shape here so that it looks like uh, it is folded for that uh, go to insert shapes select an oval shape and hold the shift key while drawing the oval it got a perfect circle shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to cut this circle into half for that go to insert shapes select an a rectangle select a rectangle and just put it halfway through you can see it's perfect now select the rectangle the circle and the rectangle by holding the shift key go to merge shape and just say subtract you got this shape and you can reduce increase or decrease and then using the alt and the right arrow key i'm just going to rotate it and i'm just going to bring it here let me just zoom a little bit so that you know exactly what i'm doing reduce the size you can see here and just send this to back and bring this and put it at the corner so you can see here it looks like a, a folded paper from one side okay and this one i can just later on change the the color now i'm going to add one more folded paper for that uh, let me just add a oval shape go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw a oval shape uh, give some different color shape outline make it no outline and just put it here in the center and just increase towards the left side and 
I'm just going to cut this extra part uh, which is a black one you can see here if I send this to black sorry back it is not showing the perfect shape so now what are the extra which is there here for example if I just make it transparent so you can see here there's some extra which I need to delete this one so I'm just going to select this press ctrl D once again and put it exactly on top of the first one then select this uh, rectangle and this shape by holding the shift key go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you can see here you got the exact shape now and then you can remove the transparency or I can just keep it for the meantime so I'm going to add one more which is uh, I'm going to select this particular shape now select this shape press ctrl D to duplicate it I'm going to reduce the size so that this part will go inside and for the time being again I'm just going to change some different color and sorry and just bring it here this side or let me just change the color so that you will be visible yes and then just send to back and this also send to back and this bring to front so you can see here there's one more folded paper as showing there and then i'm going to select this particular shape press ctrl d reduce the size and i'm going to bring it here okay now I'm just going to give some different color and rotate it go to format shape some give some black color maybe and rotate it I will just say a flip horizontal let me just zoom a little bit and again align it alignment is very very important here and just send this to back so you can see here let me just move a little bit reduce the size if required and with the arrow keys I can adjust it is a time-consuming process but once done it looks very beautiful so you can see here almost it's done our design is ready so now I'm just going to give some different colors and some shadow effects so you can see here I can feel that the design on the top part is not that perfect so let me just right mouse click edit point and delete this one the center one and then you can see here it comes as a perfect shape now you can see here and now it's time to change the colors this is very important you have to put the right colors otherwise uh, the folded paper design won't look good for that I'm just going to select this particular shape I'm going to select a gradient fill and I'm going to use two stops uh, by default it will be four I have deleted two so it will be remain two only so I'm just going to select one dark color and one light color dark color this side and le uh, and towards left it will be light color so I'm just going to more colors and whichever color you like for example let me just put a kind of uh, orange for example and then here also I am going to select a lighter orange color maybe this color and here I am going to select the same dark orange but I am just going to make it more darker for that go to more colors customs and just increase the shade here you can see a darker color so you know it looks like it's folding from here and then I'm going to use the same colors here again select this particular option and go to gradient fill and if you want you can add one more in between a lighter color go to more colors reduce the size so it looks more lighter this side you can see here and then again this 
I'm going to select the gradient fill and here this side now I'm going to give a darker color here so that I'll select this and I'm going to give the darker color can you see here sorry I have selected the wrong one I have to select this one and I have to give a darker color I can give more darker color I'll just go to more colors customs and increase the size the shading effect and click OK so you can see it's more darker color and here also for this it's up to you whether you want to give a darker color it will be something like this and this black color you want you can just make it instead of black I'm just going to give this color but more darker so something like this so this color I'm just going to change a little bit let me just zoom in because this is blending with this one so it's not looking good so you can see here at least this is better so you can see here one design is ready then we need to give some shadow effect to this so let me just add, add some shadow effect let me just zoom a little bit and then I'm going to insert shapes select an, a rectangle draw this rectangle and I'm going to select the gradient fill shape outline make it no outline and this side I'm going to give it a black color and this side I'm going to select a white color and this white color I'm going to make transparency to 100% and this one I will increase the transparency rate and just put it here and just send this to back so you can see here send full yes so you can see here some shadow effect has been created if you want you can just increase also So this shadow effect has been created and then once the design is ready I'm just going to select this all and press ctrl G to group it and I can just make it this one press ctrl D this will be my second one third and fourth now I can just reduce the size for example this one I will just reduce it and put it here example so this one I want to increase the size I will just increase it and I'm just going to put something like this and this one I'm going to reduce the size further smaller one and then I'll just put this one like this now you have got this uh, shapes ready all these four shapes or five whatever you want to make it and then it's time to change the colors again you can come here and change the color according to your requirement one by one then I'm going to give some uh, shadow effect here some uh, cutout effect not the shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle and make it white color shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give a shadow effect go to shadows and I'm going to give the shadow effect which is a uh, right and increase the distance and increase the blur size and uh, it doesn't look good uh, this one so I'm just going to hide this again for that go to insert shape select a rectangle again cover the rectangle and shape fill white only and shape outline make it no outline so you can see here this is the way you can just hide the other unwanted areas so and then once this is done you can just put the the options a b c d or one two three four whatever let me just put zero one center align bold increase the size and just put it here one control d this will be two three and four so let me just change this
and then you can add more detailed text towards the right side so let me just add some text here for example this much how much percentage we can just put it for that i'm just going to select a, a triangle draw a small triangle shape outline make it no outline and rotate it rotate left 90 degrees you can give the color whatever the color which you have chosen for this and just put it here in the center and put the percentages for that i'm just going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate it and put the percentages for example this say this is a 45 percent this is just a hypothetical number you can just change the numbers later and the detailed text you can add it here all right reduce the size and give the same font and then i'm just going to select all these three Control d to duplicate it and just put it here and later on you can just change the percentage sign uh, the how much the figures there and i'm just going and clicking selecting here and that's it now it's time to do the animation before that one if you want you can just group this uh, to the this particular the rectangle the triangle and the percentage figures you can just group it okay let me just group this control g All right, now I'm just going to give a shadow effect for sorry animation effect for this go to animations enable the animation pane and I'm going to add animation to it go to add animation more entrance effects and I'm going to select the stretch click OK and stretch just say from left so it comes something like this and then this one also I'm just going to select the same animation more entrance effect stretch and click this one also from left and this should happen after previous so if i play it will come something like this and then i'm going to select this again the same i can select this one animation painter click on this okay and then this one should happen after previous and this text also should happen the same effect for that i'm going to select this and i will just change the direction from right and this should happen with previous so if i see here if i just play and it comes something like this so now with the help of animation painter you can just uh, do the animation for the rest of the options select this click on this so it has come then i'm just going to select this I will select the option here then this click here and this so you can see here the animations all animations you can do with the help of the animation painter easily so just uh, change the uh, percentage figures according to your requirement change the colors and the design is ready that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye